The U.S. and Chinese defense chiefs engaged in a heated exchange over Taiwan during their first face-to-face -face meeting in two years at the Shangri-La Dialogue in Singapore. Philippines President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. criticized illegal, coercive actions in the South China Sea, indirectly targeting Beijing. The discussions took place as Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky was expected to attend the meeting to seek support for a Ukraine peace conference. Russia and China opted not to participate in the upcoming conference. The U.S. Defense Secretary and China's Defense Minister reiterated their differences on Taiwan, but emphasized the importance of maintaining open military communications. The U.S. expressed concerns about Chinese military activities near Taiwan, while China warned against U.S. interference in its affairs with Taiwan. The meeting also touched upon issues related to nuclear, space, and cyber developments, as well as conflicts in the South China Sea, Ukraine, and Gaza. Philippines President Marcos highlighted the need for peace and stability in the South China Sea, condemning actions that violate sovereignty and jurisdiction. Tensions between the Philippines and China in the disputed waters have escalated, with China engaging in gray zone activities to assert its claims. The Philippines' security ties with the U.S. have strengthened, with increased U.S. access to Philippine bases. Taiwan's defense minister called for an end to Beijing's military drills around the island to maintain peace and stability. The region has witnessed a rise in military exercises, with China's drills lagging behind in scale and complexity compared to the U.S. The Shangri-La Dialogue, a prominent defense forum, convened leaders to address security challenges. The event featured discussions on regional security dynamics, with upcoming speeches by key leaders including Indonesia's president-elect. The dialogue aims to foster dialogue and cooperation on security issues in the Asia-Pacific region.